Hello everyone, this is Tivyesh and I am a student of mechatronics at Prakash Shurpur's book Schweinfurt. So today I'll show you all a very regular busy day in my life as a student in Schweinfurt or as a student in Germany. Let me give you a short overview of my journey. I come from Jafarabad which is a very small town in in the southern sea coast of Gujarat. I graduated my high school from Taditi Billa Public School Jafarabad which is one of the group schools of Aditi Billa group as my father used to work there and I did my first year of graduation from Marwadi Education Foundation group of institutions under Gujarat Technological University and after that I came here to Fakok Shulbus Book Schweinfurt for, for my bachelor's. I wake up at around 8, 8.30, it depends mostly on the university classes and the timings. I usually have my breakfast after waking up and uh, in breakfast I usually make myself a coffee and uh, have some cereals and uh, after which I, I will attend my lectures and uh, today also after attending the lectures I have few work at university, also I have to issue a book from the university's library so i go into the university as well and uh, also i have to do a bit of shopping let's go It is like that in whichever part of the city you want to go, first you have to come to the city center that is Rusma. So you have to come here first, then take the bus to a particular destination. Yeah, this is the city center, you can see map of the city, and we are currently at city center. So here this is Rosma and I have to go to university. So the bus stop is this which are Vignastrasa or Campus Hans. So my university has uh, three campus in total and campus one where we are heading right now is the main campus. So let's go. Now I'm up, like I'm out of the university, and I have to buy a few groceries. So I'll go to Lidl Mart, and like uh, Lidl stores are one of the cheapest and most affordable uh, grocery stores in Germany. And also the the campus we have visited is just the the map we have seen was the campus one, and campus two and campus three are in different places. Uh, it is like around uh, 400 meters, like. 200 meters away from each other. So right now I came here for the rapid antigen test. Turkish store to buy some cereals. So like you can see there are many Asians and Turkish stores here and also like uh, after like, uh, second majority of the people living here are Turkish. I just 
just have had my dinner and now I would do some tinkering like it is the most favorite part of my day and currently me and my friends are working on an Arduino car currently we have just installed three sensors like we have a target of accommodating around 10 to 12 sensors and uh, and make this car multifunctional I would also like to give a few tips like uh, before coming to Germany uh, find yourself a permanent accommodation because after you arrive in Germany you have to get yourself registered to the city and uh, now I would like to talk about uh, surviving as a vegetarian in Germany is like a little bit tricky part but uh, not so hard for me because it's it has been like four months since I came here and uh, I don't think it is a much of trouble but you just have to take care when you like whenever you enter the grocery stores or any of the departmental stores the things you see around is like if you are a vegetarian then the things you see around are not for you all of them are not for you so like in vegetarian like I am a vegetarian and uh, I have seen some of the products which had vegetarian which has vegetarian symbol and it contains egg so egg is considered as vegetarian in Germany so like majority of the edible stuff you find out in departmental star departmental stores are not for you and whenever you buy a product just check out the ingredients it will be written you can just directly translate and check out like if it consists egg or any of the non vegetarian stuff like currently I'm here to receive a, my parcel from India I got it from I got it parcel from India post like it consists my badminton stuffs and a few masalas and a few of the electronic stuffs so and the, like Currently the cheapest option I found is uh, India Post and it costed me around 4500 rupees for 9 kg and also like I had few of the electronics items so I am not sure like if I would be customed or not because that doesn't like India Post doesn't include the custom charges so I may receive a bill like I have to pay some of the custom charges so that's all about my day in life and I feel proud like yeah it was a good decision of coming here because the opportunity that I'm getting here within sports in studies in projects or cultural activities is abundant like I also got to learn many new things and here like uh, I have to take like you have to take care of yourself you have to take care of your health you have to manage your finances you have to take care of your cooking and also like home and landlord stuffs and academics which is a main priority so i've learned many things and yet to learn more whenever you come here like each and every like each and every experience is going to teach you something some or the other thing but trust me this journey is going to be amazing